Hey everybody, Hornet Weezer here. It is 11:02 p.m. Friday night, May 23rd, 2014. Uh, I am here. Obviously, I didn't even have it on the pause screen. But uh, we're here with Stink Bomb. Uh, last night, after I recorded the base upgrade for Stink Bomb, uh, went ahead. I was basically asleep in that video. That's uh, not by any stretch of the imagination because I wasn't interested or found it boring. Um, extremely tired. Uh, it's been a really, really um, busy time here lately. Um, I don't get a lot of sleep ever, but uh, by my standards, I didn't have much sleep this week, and that's really saying something. Um, normal people probably wouldn't have been up and functional when I was, so uh, try to look at it that way. Funny thing, though, I got done with that, and I was like, you know, I want to go ahead and at least get the uh, base upgrades done for my second stink bomb so we can explore his other paths. Got that done, and uh, for whatever reason, it started bothering me. Uh, for a long time, I wanted to come in and figure out, you know, like what characters I hadn't put in the game yet, because I was pretty sure that night that I sat down to do it all, I like put everyone in. Um, there were some on the pool table that uh, had eluded me. Uh, Wham shell, I believe. That wasn't Ghost Roaster. Um, Swam Shell, a couple others, Series 2 Stealth Elf, uh, she'd apparently never been on. Series 2 Chop Shop was the one that got me the, um, or actually it might have been Series 1 Stealth Elf. Anyway, the one, there was an accolade, put 30 Series 2s on the portal, and I couldn't figure out who I had not put on. I was convinced there must be someone new, and I'm like, I've introduced them all, I don't know what the deal is. Turned out to be Series 2 Chop Shop. Uh, go figure. But, uh, got that taken care of. Uh, my count on Skylanders, if you ever see that screen, it's gone up from like the 150, whatever it was, like 172 or something. I can't really remember, but it's there. Um, and then the funniest thing about it is, for whatever reason, uh, I kind of went from my sleep deprived zombie state, got that done, and then I was like, I didn't know what the weekend kind of held in store for me, and I was like, you know, I might go ahead and uh, take a look at time attack mode. I was kind of trying to plan out what I would record after upgrades. Went through that. I hadn't played Chapter 1 since I recorded it, basically. I did on the Xbox One version. I was right when I got the Xbox, though, so several months, and... Um, went through that, I used Star Strike, I never switched characters, did it in like a little over five minutes out of my friends list, I think I was like 17 seconds off, and what happened at the end, I nearly went in that honey hole, and I didn't, and that's of course, there's a key in there, so, um, I don't know, I mean, I thought that went fairly well, but anyway, um, bottom line is we're back with Stink Bomb, what I would do, I think I mentioned this last night, I'm not 100% sure, but, um, if I just had one of these characters, that's kind of what I had to do with Drilla Drilla. Uh, luckily, uh, today I saw some comments people left on the video said that they actually preferred the pass I took, so that was kind of reassuring. Uh, hopefully that's the case here with Stink Bomb. But if I just had one, I think that I would take the Art of Skunk Fu up top. That's again just primarily because I kind of like the defensive stealth with the life element for some reason. And then down low, I think I would probably go with... Uh, Skunk Cloud, if I just had one. So, needless to say, this video will be about Art of Skunk Fu. Uh, then, Stink Bomb number two, if you will, uh, will come in. We'll do Art of Acorn Sneaky Tactics with him. But uh, we'll go ahead and come over here. We'll talk to Gorm so you don't have to listen to him or listen to me complain about having to listen to him. So, we're going to come in here and uh, the Art of Skunk Fu. I kind of thought it was strange this that this wasn't like the art of Kung F or I'm sorry, uh, Kung Fume, which that was supposedly the style of martial arts he kind of developed and, you know, on his own after the instructor left him. But uh, then I thought Skunk Fu might have tied in better with, like, the cloud down below, but uh, that's just me. Uh, to their credit, you know, his secondary attack or the primary on the bottom is Skunk Cloud, so I guess that kind of makes sense, but... Uh, I guess it's all Kung Fu in essence, so the art of Skunk Fu, that is the one I'm going to take. Use ancient Skunk Fu techniques to help shield against enemies. So uh, your other option is obviously a little bit more apparently offensive. Um, master the use of nature's most powerful projectiles. Again, you know, think back to Stump Smash, if you will. But uh, we're going to go ahead and just take this one here and uh, see how it play plays out first. 
I'll also take the Soul Gym here. I remember last night's video, I was like worried that I missed the Soul Gym and then remembered that I do those with the past. So, uh, it's 11 right now. It's Memorial Day weekend. I'm kind of more with it, if you will. Um, you know. Anyways, Kung Fu Shield, all my prize is 18 Wing Sapphires. That's why it's 960. Sweeping Skunk Fu, which that is his last purchased base upgrade. It's the one where you hold down Y, it basically shoots out four large stars 90 degrees from you in every direction. Uh, does really, really nice damage. But uh, Sweeping Skunk Fu creates a whirling shield that damages nearby enemies. So uh, we'll grab this. You basically have to do these one at a time, unless it's one of those rare deals that there's like a primary and a tertiary tied in, uh, which happens sometimes, but not very often. Um, nonetheless, you know, just kind of recap for you. There's the throwing stars, they've been upgraded a little. Um, I'm going to hold Y now, which that's how you get sweeping skunk food, but I want to see the shield before we see the damage. Yeah, well, apparently you can't. What's up? It does look like these stars uh, have like a green glow to it. Okay, I was thinking it was while you held it it happened. That's actually kind of cool. Let me try to get some time here. So, one Mississippi. You're basically, I mean, as soon as you throw that first star, Skunk Fu is ready to go. That's why in my spreadsheet last night I didn't even put a time with it. It's basically a second. But now what I do want a time on is the shield duration. So, let's go ahead and uh, try to get that. I get 8 seconds on that, so I'm going to come in here to the handy dandy spreadsheet, Skunk Fu Shield, 8 seconds of how many stars are there? <laughs> Is it 5? I think it's 5 stars. And now the damage number on them is what we want next. So 6 probably going to be 6 to 9 if you ever did see a critical number. Uh, we'll go ahead and pin that in. Uh, just know that 6 is going to be far and far off. Uh, 6 to 9 damage. And then what I want to know though, I don't put this in the spreadsheet. Alright, we're going to get that shield going now. You can throw the stars. Okay, and you can also continue to spam um, so, um, basically right here we have nothing going on, I've held down the Y button so we're going to unleash sweeping skunk food. Now we've got the shield, as you can see I've got the stars in my hand, through sweeping skunk food again, the shield will do this for another 8 seconds. So I'm sure enemies can hit you, you know, other players in PvP, but you can at least, um, and just to give you an idea, I think he moves at full speed as well, it's nothing that slows him down. Uh, if you go into stealth, you sadly lose it, which I mean, that makes sense, but it's also one of those deals that would be really cool if you could at least be invisible even if the stars give you away, but, uh, you know, not too shabby, so... so. Coming down, we'll pick up the last one because there's only two with these swampers. Uh, Skunk Fu Master for 1280. Skunk Fu Shield does increase damage, so not a lot of you know fancy stuff going on here. Probably gonna look the same, just the six to nine uh, gonna go up. My guess it's probably gonna be 12 to 18. If it's higher than that, I'll be pretty happy. Um, yeah, we'll wait on that. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Anyway, um, come in here and see what the increase is. Okay, so 10 to 15, I would assume. Well, that's better than I thought it would be, but not much, <laughs> you know, sadly. Uh, that said, I mean, you're gonna, if you like the stars, you're gonna eventually wind up, even if you don't intend to, you're gonna wind up holding it down too long on accident. You'll do massive damage with Sweeping Skunk Fu, then you'll have the shield, from which you can still run around and just spam the uh, throwing stars. So, uh, not too shabby of a deal. But 10 to 15, and I'm assuming it's still 8 seconds. Let me go and show you. I got 10 that time. I got 8 that time. So, I'm going to stick with 8 seconds. Uh, 10 to 15 damage. Still 
eight seconds. Again, my time can be off, you know, like a second or two. I don't use a watch, I just kind of mumble it out in my head. So, uh, nonetheless, you should have a general idea. If you count better than me in your head, you can do that. If you want to go to the trouble of pausing the video meticulously and counting, you know, feel free. But, general idea, we got you covered here. So, um, that's about it. I mean, that is the art of skunk food. <laughs> Uh, we'll come in now and do the Soul Gym. It's the last thing we can do for the top end of Mr. Stinkbomb here. Soul Gym runs 2240. It is called Master Star Technique. Note the hyphen. Uh, press Y. Don't know why you want to note the hyphen, but just make note of it. <laughs> press Y to throw Master Stars that have a higher chance to critically hit. Now, I don't ever recall our stars being named Master Stars, so I'm really hoping that this is some oversight and these are actually going to make Skunk Food Stars do increased damage, as is, you know, basically uh, come in with Noxious Ninja, you know, it's going to be higher damage than that, which that was 21 to 32. I don't think it will, I'm hoping it does, because quite frankly, uh, you've probably heard me, if you've watched anything I've done, you should know I'm a big fan of armor, I'm a big fan of speed. They've been around the longest time, they tie in, you know, with my particular playstyle. Critical hit, it's nice. Uh, the problem I have with it is every time I bought any upgrade that has to do with increasing your critical hit chances, I don't really see much of a change. Um, and to me, there's a lot of cool stuff you could have done with this top end soul gem, you know. But, so, uh, we'll buy it and see what happens. And I mean, even if it if this works in theory on Noxious Ninja, that's when the stars were maxed out. Instead of seeing 21 to 32, you should see 32 a lot more. Than that. So, uh, if we throw this and you don't see a 21 or 32, consider me happy. Okay, 21, 32, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so out of 10 throws, I think we had 432, so that's like 40%. Yeah, take it for what you will. Um, you know, let's see here. Other thing I wondered is if it would change the release of these guys. So Sweeping Skunk Fu, uh, where we left off, it was actually doing uh, 64 to 96. And it's going to do the same. The stars themselves still going to be 10 to 15, so... The Soul Gym did absolutely nothing other than increase our chances for critical hit, which, granted, I realize, I mean, if you go across the board, 64 becomes 96, uh, if it ties in with the shield as well, you know, instead of seeing 10, you'd see 15 more often, but to me, I would have rather had the damage numbers in Noxious Ninja 21 to 32, even if it just became, you know, like 24 to 36 or something, I would prefer that over the critical hit chance. Uh, really cool Soul Gym would have been like if it doubled the damage or if it was a deal where if you hold Y down for even longer you can release one massive throwing star, kind of like a you know trigger happy type thing. But uh, that said, to me, the best thing about Stink Bomb is one, his speed. I realize that doesn't necessarily tie in you know, what we're doing here. But uh, the other thing is just how quickly he can throw the stars. Uh, you can keep track of the 21s and 32s there. As you can see here, they have a really good range, which is awesome. Now, to the credit of this Soul Gym, I am seeing the critical hit number a lot more than some of the other times I've done that. Uh, there's some cash down there. I have a hard time bypassing that. I'm meant for flash, you know, that's usually what I'm going through to get the cash for right now. Um, to me, that's literally the best thing. Again, if you're going through a level spamming your stars, you might accidentally hold it down. If you do, it's okay because you've done 64 to 96, and then you can run around with the shield. You can spam, you know, your throwing stars with the shield up. And that's essentially why I took that. It's kind of defensive-minded, the art of Skunk Fu. But to me, that primary attack is just really, really good. Uh, you still have the tertiary, of course. I think it actually knocks in back as well, but uh, we're going to address that with the Art of Acorns, which I guess we'll do here shortly, but uh, that's him, uh, fully upgraded, critical hit, 
I think I have that charm. It's been a long time, but I think the charm gave me plus one critical hit, so I guess he was at seven. So it didn't upgrade him on a whole, I guess, just strictly for the star. So, uh, Master Star Technique, I'm going to put Increased CH Chance. So, CH is, in my little world, critical hit. So, uh, nonetheless, that is Stink Bomb fully upgraded down his Art of Skunk Fu path. I kind of enjoy it. Obviously, I don't know what Art of Acorns is going to be like right now, but uh, I've been on a roll here lately, picking the paths that, you know, I would would if I just had one character. Uh, Blast Zone, uh, Gorilla Drilla, if what everyone told me is true. And then uh, Art of Acorns uh, should be interesting. I just, I don't know, to me it seems like the shield might come into handy for the way I plan to play Stink Bomb. That said, we'll check it out again. I guess what I'll record next is Skunk Cloud Controller, and then I'll get the second Stink Bomb on, and we'll go down the rest of these paths. So, uh, As always, thanks for watching. Take that link at the top of the video description box. You will go to a post dedicated solely to Stink Bomb. You'll see the video where I was asleep doing his base upgrades. You will see this one, the Art of Skunk Fu. Art of Acorn, Skunk Cloud Controller, and Sneaky Tricks. You will also see the spreadsheet, which I am working on right now. Now. And uh, it will have damage numbers for each and every attack. If they don't make sense here, you can watch the videos that are real quick. Should walk you through that. You'll have a full understanding of the path. And in turn, you can go and upgrade your stink bomb however best suits you and your personal playstyle. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. Make sure you're subscribed. You can follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, circle me on Google, whichever you prefer. Again, we will catch you back here next time. And I uh, guess we will be doing Skunk Cloud Controller Path.